I don't want to make this video. <laughs> Hi guys, Hector Castillo, Poppy from GirlsChase.com. Today we're going to talk about how to unleash a girl's sexuality. Okay, whether it's um, a fuck buddy, you know, a lover or a girlfriend or your wife, you want to make her feel comfortable with her sexuality and to be able to unleash it. And there's two fucking reasons here, and they're very simple. Uh, one, you want her to be really sexual with you. You want her to enjoy every aspect of the dirty, nasty, primal act that it is. Uh, but also you want her to enjoy herself. So not only is it good for you when she, you know, enjoys trying her best to suffocate on your cock and to want you to fill every hole of hers and just mercilessly fucking ravage her entire body and cover her and come and have her just act like a total slut the whole time. You want her to do it also for the enjoyment of herself. And that's actually even more enjoyable in my experience. Maybe this is because I'm just very empathetic. Um, I like when a girl serves me and is wanting to please me. But I also like that when in sex, she's enjoying it for her own sexuality as well. Um, she's getting off on the fact that she's submitting to me and doing what I want and is in my, she's my like fucking fleshlight and I can just use her to, you know, the extensions of my desires in every direction and no matter what I want, she's gonna say, yes, Poppy, please, can I have some more? But it's even better when she's doing it because she also just revels in her own sexuality. Female se sexuality is, is very, um, it's, it's just an orgy in and of itself. She's submitting to you and that also makes her feel feminine, but then she can also feel like a slut just for the sake that she's willing to do all these nasty things and then she's getting off on the fact that she's a slut and it's just this compounding um, clusterfuck of pleasure that she gets lost in. And if you've ever had really nasty, crazy sex with a girl, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, she's just getting fucked and, and she's enjoying it. She's like, like just fucking licking herself and feeling herself you know if you ever seen a girl like suck dig and she's she's like feeling her own titty she's fingering herself as she's doing it it's fucking great to just see her lose herself so you're doing it for you and you're also doing it for her which is in turn going to give you a lot in return um because she's feeling even hotter and sexier now a lot of girls don't feel comfortable with their sexuality and this is why they have trouble orgasming from vaginal sex this is why they have trouble squirting um, so every girl can actually squirt uh, and you have to really really take a lot of time with a lot of girls to get to it um, and May or may not be worth that effort, you know, even if you're super hot and a girl's really into you You're not gonna be able to unleash your sexuality in one night unless she's just absolutely crazy about her 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 sexuality and and you because a lot of this has to do with her now it goes without saying that you should be a sexy guy whom she just gets really wet for because then she's much more likely to let go. A lot of, um, you know, I'm looking for the word decorative. Uh, what, the, what the fuck is the word that I'm looking for? I'm, I should, I'm a writer. I should, um, d d d d d deranged? No, decorative. The fuck is that word I'm looking for? Depraved. God. <laughs> Fucking words. What are they? Depraved. A lot of the most depraved acts, you know, just, you know, they're not depraved to me anymore because I've done it so many times, but like taking it in the ass or letting you come on her ass or letting you feed her the cum after it's coming out of her ass, um, you know, letting you come on her face and wiping it all over herself, just the nastiest shit, right? A lot of that um, she may not do for this guy, but for this guy, she's going to do it in one night. You know, I've had girls who were virgins. And so they hadn't even had sex yet. And then we had sex and the second time we hung out, I fucked her in the ass just because she was so enthralled by me, whatever it was that about me that turned her on. So you have to be sexy, right? So first step is be sexy yourself. Be a man worth unleashing her sexuality for, okay? Then it's about her. So first thing that you need to do is you need to both internally and externally judgmental, yeah. You can express non-judgmentalness. You can include in conversation uh, through through various topics. I like to talk about sex, so it's very easy for me to do this. Uh, but you can also just show her that you're not unjudgmental because at some point something controversial will be brought up and you just want to have an attitude of like, yeah, I don't have a problem. People live the lives that they want. You know, different people like different things. You just show a very 
open, you don't have to agree with what other people do, right? You should still have your own convictions. I'm not saying hide your opinions for the sake of making her happy. What I'm saying is it's very good to have a non-judgmental attitude about the world. You can be critical. There's nothing wrong with being critical and saying, I believe this is right. I believe this is wrong. I believe this is the way the world should be. Uh, you know, I like to act this way. I think if other people act this way, it's weak or stupid or whatever, but you can still say, look, I understand this is what people want to do. And this is what people like to do. And they're more than free to do that as long as it is within a certain legal and moral boundary. And so you can express non-judgmentalness. That's supposed to be an N, that was horrible. Uh, <laughs> turn into an O. Through these types of expressions, but you can also, if you talk about sex directly, you can be like, yeah, I'm, you know, people can do whatever they want in the bedroom and show that non-judgmentalness. And what that's gonna do is consciously and subconsciously is gonna make her feel like, okay, if I were to tell him one of my really dark, uh, dirty fantasies, or if I were to get really sexual in bed, would he judge me? And a lot of men out there do judge women for their sexuality for usually stupid reasons. Uh, but you also need to be non-judgmental in your own mind because there's a certain level of just, you can feel when someone's judgmental. You can see it in their eyes. You can see it in their body language, in their tone of voice. You can see them change. Like, do they judge you for your, um, sexual preferences and your sexual desires. And you want to eliminate as much of that as possible. And what that's going to do is going to allow her to say, okay, I can show myself um, to an extent that maybe I normally wouldn't feel comfortable without you even having to do any work. But of course you are going to have to do some work. I'm really struggling with spelling today and words in general. So working through a girl's insecurities, it can be done through conversation. I like to talk to my girls about sex. You know, what do you like? Are there any fantasies that you have that you'd like to try? You know, um, what is it that you like about sex? And just get her very comfortable thinking about it and talking about it with you. Um, and then what you can do is, this is more of like the, like you're the dom, you're, you're very like, um, you're her daddy, you're her poppy. When you're in bed, I want you to talk to her. I want you to say nasty things to her because a lot of insecurities is pretty much just her thinking that she's not sexy um, or thinking that something is wrong. So thinking that something is wrong, non-judgmentalness. But if you can make her feel sexy, then she's gonna allow herself to blossom. And so, a lot of dirty talk, a lot of whispering in her ear, be like, baby, you're so sexy. I love the way you take my cock. You're so fucking good. You're such a good little girl. I fucking love your ass. I love your titties. I love your lips. I love your hair. I love the way you smell. Just fucking pile on the compliments because when you're having sex, if you say it in a, in a confident, um, masculine way, you know, you're growling at me like, you're so fucking sexy. I love fucking your tight pussy. That those compliments aren't going to be seen as like, you know, it's not like you're in a club and you're complimenting a girl too much. And she's like, oh, yeah, thanks. I know, I know I'm hot. No, no, no. You're fucking her. So she sees you as a dominant authoritative male. Other, otherwise she usually wouldn't be fucking with you. So don't be afraid to just shower fucking compliments. Just make her feel so fucking sexy and just drive into that bitch. You should be so turned on and so hard. A girl can feel how hard your dick is. She can tell the difference between a guy who's like 75% hard and a guy who is just fucking diamond dick dallasing her fucking pussy. Like she's gonna feel a difference. And if you're whispering these things to her and you're making her feel sexy and over and over and over through time, you tell her what you like, you tell her don't be afraid to to, to, to be really slutty around you. That's, that's a really operative word here because, <clears throat> you know, it could be two ways. Oh, you fucking slut. Okay, that's an insult. Or you're my good little slut. Same word, totally different meanings. And girls, I've heard this from so many girls, they wanna be a slut for one guy. Now, sometimes they wanna be a slut for a lot of guys. But for sure, if she's with you, she wants to be your slut. Girls want to feel like your sexual property. Almost every girl has this. I mean, a lot of girls have it to varying degrees to whether they've expressed their sexuality and opened up to their own sexuality that much. But girls really, really want to feel like a slut. They want to be in a safe place where they're not judged. They can just unleash their sexuality. You know, they're very demure and fucking classy and, you know, girl who, lady in the streets, freak in the sheets kind of thing, right? But that's real. They want to feel like a slut, so make her feel okay with that and just do depraved things with her. You know, 
grab her fucking head, put it on her knees, and like shove your dick in her mouth and face fuck her as her fucking head is like bouncing on the fucking uh, wardrobe or the fucking desk, whatever it is, fuck her on the ground, you know, come inside of her ass in your kitchen, just be fucking nasty as shit and tell her you love it. You love when she's a dirty little girl. Send her dick pics, have her send her, have her send you videos of herself fingering herself, you know, keep, make porn with each other and occasionally just send, I love to send girls like the porn that we've made, be like, do you miss this? And it's just, you know, a video of me just fucking driving into her pussy, just, you can see it stretching her apart and she's like, oh my God, I miss this so much. Get her real, I'm getting hard just thinking about this. <laughs> you can't quite see it, but I'm definitely getting a chub. Uh, get her so enthralled with this sexual universe that you two have created in, in you know, a side pocket of the cosmos that just you two uh, inhabit. And she is going to lose her mind and slowly uh, allow herself to do more and more things. So you're not going to be bound by, um, you know, oh, I, I would never do that to, yes, please fuck me in the ass. I loved it last time. You know, you could open up to, you know, threesomes. Um, you can open up to BDSM where you're walking her around on a fucking leash. Uh, where you're tying her up, where you're slapping her and spitting on her. And girls really, really have these fantasies. And I have videos on this actually in the description below and actually an article series too on, on how, to, how to be a freaky lover. But the, the, the heart of this is just getting her to be comfortable enough to want to do these, do these things with you because you're going to have such a strong, I, in my opinion, um, a sh very strong and wild and hot and passionate sex life with your partner, your girlfriend, your wife, your lover, whatever, is the number one most important aspect of the relationship. Obviously there's more to it, but it's foundational. Uh, and if you have this, it creates such a strong bond because at the end of the day, we really are animals. It's a very dominant um, part of our human nature is the fact that we're kind of monkeys. And so if you appeal to that and you make that such an important part and you allow it to, to dance freely, uh, you will see her female sexuality blossom and it's an amazing thing to watch. A girl who like normally is a bit more conservative and then you just turn her to this crazy, I mean, I've had girls who were like very, very like, you know, we're fucking and she's like barely wet because she's so new to this and she's very insecure. And then like a year later, she's just like fucking pull my hair, and fucking spit on me, daddy. Just like nasty shit and it's beautiful to see. So be a sexy guy who's worth being a slut for. Be non-judgmental so that when she does want to be a slut with you, um, she, she doesn't feel like you're going to think less of her. Um, work through her insecurities mostly by being not just mental and also making her feel sexy um, so that she doesn't think, oh, he's not gonna like this, he's not gonna like that. No, I find you so sexy, baby. Everything that you're gonna do, that's within my bounds of comfort. You know, she's like, yeah, I wanna, you know, I want you and another guy to fuck me. I'd be like, no, sorry, not into that. Uh, but hey, the fact that you have that desire is cool, whatever, but no, uh, there's no other dicks here, just me. Uh, if you want to bring another pussy in, that's fine. And so make her feel sexy and allow her to be a slut for you. Allow her to be your, your fucking like walking piece of meat that you use for your own pleasure. And I promise you when you have that, that sexual dynamic of you being the dominant and her being the submissive, she's going to love both you and herself because you're going to unleash your sexuality and you're going to make the most important part of a relationship, uh, a fucking banquet of fucking beauty. It's going to be a banquet of beauty of, of just fun and cum and sweat and maybe blood and fucking spit. And it's just going to be awesome. <laughs> and she's going to be happy with you. I promise. And you're going to have such a, you're, you're going to be so sexually satisfied. Uh, maybe it's going to make you so such a horny motherfucker and just going to unleash your own sexuality that you're going to be like, holy fuck, I didn't even know this, this, this life existed, but I promise you it is so much fucking fun. And again, she's going to love you and she's going to love herself, which, which is just as important. So unleash your sexuality with these tips. You'll be happy. She'll be happy. We'll all be happy. Okay. Cool. Hector Castillo, Poppy from girlschase.com. Follow me on Instagram, like this video, subscribe, ring the bell. And I'll see you soon. Bye.